everyone and welcome to another episode of the Travel Food Show here at Join My Trip with Mary Ellen, your host, which is me. At Join My Trip, we connect like-minded travelers so that you can go on cool and unique adventures. So definitely go on our website and check out what kinds of trips we have upcoming. And maybe if you don't find a trip um, that you would like to go on personally yourself, you can then create a trip so that you can plan everything and get some fun and awesome travel mates to come with you. This week we're going to talk about German food. Now I'm not a German native myself, but as our company is based in Germany, I had one of my colleagues, Kira, help me out with, with what five foods are the German staples that you should definitely try when visiting Germany. So as you probably know, Germans are lovers of their sausages and one of the top things to try is currywurst. And Kira gave us a little insider tip here that it's different in every German city, but you can actually find the best ones in Berlin. And what it is, it's basically a sausage that's cut into pieces and topped with a curry flavored tomato sauce and curry powder. And to go with it, you can order then fries or bread or whatever you like. Okay, part of my German. <laughs> but the next one is Käse Spätzle, uh, which is basically German mac and cheese. And you'll find these especially in the south of Germany. So if you're visiting the south of, south of Germany, this is something um, kind of unique to the area. And it's German egg noodles in a cheese and heavy cream sauce, which is gratinated with more cheese because there can never be enough cheese. And then with fried onions as well. And next we have basically anything with potatoes. So potato, potato, anywhere you go in Germany. And basically all the typical German restaurants have some sort of potatoes ranging from normal, normal fries to pan fried potatoes with bacon and topped with a fried egg. And in, also in some parts of Germany, the typical Christmas Eve dinner is potato salad and sausage. So um, very, very typical um, German seasonal thing. And next we have a donut with three different names. So there's a saying in Finnish that goes that a loved child has many different names as does apparently a loved donut in Germany. But it's called by the names of Berliner Kaffen and Pfannkuchen. Okay, don't make fun of my German. And this is all the same di dish. So it's basically a jelly filled um, jo donut. In Western Germany, they're called Berliner, like the people living in Berlin. And it's also known um, universally by this name usually. And in the Southern parts, they're called Kaffen. And in Berlin, they're called Pfannkuchen, which is basically pancakes. And you could plot two German best friends against each other just by asking them, what this fried dessert is called in their hometown so you can kind of get fun reactions from that. Um, but there's several variations of this donut. Some are glazed and filled with eggnog or chocolate and others are then topped with powdered sugar and filled with strawberry jam. Yum! And then last but not least, we can't forget this Germans love their beer and there are around 1,500 breweries around Germany and most of them brew their beer according to the purity law from 50. 16 so we go way back with that and every small city has a local brewery and even small than more smaller microbreweries and you can check out a beer garden when in Germany to enjoy an authentic experience of a cold German beer in a traditional German meal but um, insider tip from Kira again maybe avoid Hofbrau and München because it's very touristy and overpriced so go to some more local spots to get to get that experience. And as always, thank you for joining in on this week's episode of the Travel Food Show. I'm actually traveling to Iceland myself at the end of this week. So hopefully next week I'll have some fun content from there of foods you should try on your visit to Iceland. But for now, subscribe and like so that you can follow along for more of my videos. And of course, join my trip's other awesome travel content. See you later.